Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, prepare for an urgent revelation. France, known for its beauty and culture, is now ravaged by catastrophic floods. Paris, the city of lights, is submerged, with boulevards transformed into rivers and landmarks waterlogged. This storm is no ordinary weather event, it is a divine warning and a manifestation of God's wrath against a sinful world. As the Olympics approached, a fierce tempest struck, unleashing torrential rains that threatened to overwhelm the Seine and the Eiffel Tower. A rare tornado ripped through the city, leaving devastation in its path. This unprecedented fury raises profound questions, is this simply a natural disaster, or does it hold a deeper spiritual significance? Many believers see it as a fulfillment of biblical prophecy, a sign of the end times, and a call for repentance. The world watched in horror as Paris became a stage for this divine drama. For believers, these events are a stark reminder of life's fragility and the urgency of faith in Jesus Christ, especially as we anticipate the Lord's return for judgment and redemption. As the waters recede in Paris, the world faces a critical moment. While rebuilding the city will be a monumental task, the spiritual implications are even more profound. Will humanity respond to this warning and turn toward God, recognizing our need for His mercy? Believers experience sorrow for the loss and suffering but also hope for renewal through trials. The disaster serves as a call to return to God and proclaim His love and salvation to a world in need. Questions arise about whether this is divine punishment, prompting reflection on our relationship with the Creator and inviting us to seek shelter from spiritual storms. We stand at the brink of a significant era, a great tribulation foretold in Scripture, reflecting God's righteous anger toward rampant sin. The prophet Nahum describes the Lord's fierce vengeance, emphasizing His protective holiness. This divine jealousy urges us to examine our lives and heed His call. In the New Testament, Paul warns that unrepentance leads to wrath, manifesting in plagues, wars, and disasters. Believers will recognize these as fulfillments of prophecy. Daniel speaks of unprecedented distress, and Jesus warns of suffering so severe that it would threaten survival without divine intervention. These prophecies are both warnings and hopes for the faithful, highlighting God's ultimate purpose of redemption. Zephaniah emphasizes the nearness of the Lord's day, a time of wrath and anguish, where chaos reigns. The vivid imagery captures the terror of divine judgment, reminding us of the seriousness of turning back to God amidst the storm. Amidst ominous predictions and dire warnings, the Bible conveys a message of hope and redemption. The prophet Isaiah acknowledges God's anger but offers the promise of salvation, Come, my people. The prophesied great tribulation is not just arbitrary suffering, it's a divine process of purification and judgment, a manifestation of God's love calling His people back to righteousness and away from sin's destruction. As catastrophic floods submerge Paris, the city of lights, the world watches in horror. This unprecedented deluge transforms elegant boulevards into rivers, with the Seine threatening to overflow. A tornado, an unusual phenomenon for the region, further devastates the city. The relentless storm raises profound questions for believers, is this a natural disaster or a divine warning? The biblical prophecies in Matthew suggest it could signify the end times. As the waters recede and the damage becomes clear, the world faces a pivotal moment. The physical rebuilding of Paris is daunting, but the spiritual implications are even greater. Will humanity turn to God in recognition of our need for His mercy? Believers experience sorrow for the loss and destruction but also hope for renewal, viewing the disaster as a call to return to God and share His message of love and salvation. 
The question of whether this is God's punishment invites deep reflection on our lives and our relationship with the Creator. The storm serves as a divine invitation to seek shelter from both physical and spiritual storms, offering an opportunity for transformation and redemption. Humanity stands at the edge of a monumental tribulation, a consequence of rampant sin as foretold in Scripture. The prophet Nahum describes God's fierce wrath, emphasizing his protective holiness. This divine jealousy is not petty envy but righteous indignation against those who reject his love. Jeremiah echoes this theme, depicting God's wrath as an unstoppable whirlwind. In the New Testament, Paul warns of impending judgment, affirming that the earth will experience plagues and disasters as manifestations of God's righteous anger. Believers will see these events as fulfillments of prophecy. Daniel speaks of unprecedented distress, while Jesus warns of a great tribulation, underscoring the urgency of these prophetic messages as both warnings and beacons of hope for the faithful. The ultimate purpose of God is redemption, not destruction. Zephaniah emphasizes the nearness of the Lord's day, a time of darkness and anguish, capturing the overwhelming dread of divine judgment. This visceral language highlights the seriousness of turning back to God amidst chaos, reminding us of the critical need for spiritual renewal. The imagery of darkness, gloom, distress, and anguish paints a picture of a chaotic world, where God's retributive justice disrupts the natural order. Yet, amidst these dire warnings, the Bible offers a message of hope and redemption. The prophet Isaiah acknowledges God's anger while pointing to salvation, Come, my people. The Great Tribulation, as prophesied, is not simply a time of suffering but a divinely ordained process of purification and judgment, reflecting God's commitment to justice and his opposition to sin. The prophetic language emphasizes the seriousness of this period and the urgent need for humanity to heed these warnings. As the prophet Joel states, the day of the Lord is great, it is dreadful. Who can endure it? God calls for repentance, return to me with all your heart. This call is as urgent today as it was in ancient times, offering a path to redemption amid looming divine judgment. In a time of moral decline and spiritual apathy, the message of the Great Tribulation resonates with renewed urgency. As humanity approaches this pivotal moment, biblical warnings serve as a clarion call to repentance and faith. The Great Tribulation underscores the seriousness of sin and the need to turn back to God. While it marks a time of reckoning, it also holds hope, pointing to the ultimate victory of God's righteousness and His redemptive plan. Believers are reminded of God's unwavering love and the promise of His eternal kingdom. In these chaotic times, the belief in Jesus Christ remains the sole beacon of hope. The Bible clearly states that faith in Jesus is the only path to escape God's cataclysmic wrath during the Great Tribulation. This belief is not just a religious sentiment. It's an existential necessity, offering immediate salvation and eternal communion with God. Jesus affirms this in John 14 verse 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. His words encapsulate the exclusive nature of salvation through Christ. In a world on the brink of spiritual collapse, each person must confront the urgent question, have I placed my faith in Jesus? The seriousness of this question cannot be overstated, as disbelief draws humanity closer to experiencing God's judgment during the Great Tribulation. God's wrath is not an abstract idea but a tangible reality, resonating deeply within believers' hearts. The Bible reassures us that God is both loving and just, His judgment stems from His righteousness. Believers are called to evangelism, sharing the message of salvation with a world in desperate need of hope. 
As uncertainty and fear grip the world, the light of Christ shines brighter, illuminating the path to reconciliation with God. In these final days, believers must remain vigilant, stand firm in their faith, and share the good news of Jesus with those on the brink of destruction. The Great Tribulation is not the end, it is a divine prelude to a glorious revelation. For those who trust in Christ, this period will ultimately lead to victory, a victory assured by God's promises. As we reflect on current events, let us hold fast to our faith, anchoring our hope in the unchanging truth of God's Word. We must prepare for the tumultuous days ahead, grounded in the assurance that our sovereign God will prevail. In adversity, let us shine as beacons of hope, proclaiming redemption and Christ's love to all. May our hearts be stirred to action, our voices raised in praise, and our lives serve as testimonies to God's grace and mercy. Amen.